Oh, my lips are about to explode. <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it's another get ready with me today clear the nose I thought I was being cute hey girl how are you doing I hope you're doing well you know we got another get ready with me today something a little simple nothing major you know just a little blonde moment this blonde moment had no root realness no nothing it was just blonde to blonde rooter to toot rooter to toot root Ruder to tutor. Look what I did to it. I never thought I would like a full blonde moment. Like when I saw her in the pack, I was like, I was stressed. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was stressed out. And I feel like with blondes, you gotta know how to work with them. So, you know, they say blondes are more fun, but blondes are more work. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a little bit more work to do a little blonde moment. So I can't wait to get into this wig. But before I get into all of that, the wig, the face, all of that, this get ready with me, I wanna say thank you to Mega Look Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. If you wanna see everything I did to customize this wig as well as everything that I did to get this face, girl, this face took like 15 minutes, tops. I think so if you want to see everything I did to get this look please keep on watching we're gonna get into the wig details first and then after that we're gonna go ahead and get into the face pay attention to the coupon codes because the coupon codes are always gonna be there so I'll also leave those as well so let's get into the get ready with me okay y'all let's go ahead and get started now this is the mega look wig this is the packaging that it comes in of course they provide gifts this little gift packet is really cute because it comes with lashes a scarf a wig cap and a baby hair brush. Those lashes were actually cute. This is the wig. This is a 13 by four lace frontal transparent lace wig. It is a body wave texture and it's in the color number 27 honey blonde. As you can see, baby, there's a lot of honey in this blonde. And I decided I want to make this honey blonde wig a little bit cooler, a little bit more neutral. So I used the shimmer lights shampoo and I added it to some hot water boiling hot water i shouldn't have used my regular fingers because girl it was burning it was hot but i stuffed the wig into the boiling hot water got smart and threw on some gloves you can see that the wig is like neutralizing in color and as you can see the wig looks just like a little bit less honey and a little bit more like neutral blonde now the next step is to go ahead and pluck these this wig now if you don't know nothing about mega look wigs they give um, very much the Caroline sort of wigs and this their wigs require a little bit more plucking. The tricky part about blonde wigs it is, is that it's hard to see whether or not you're plucking enough or not. So I plucked for maybe about 40, 45 minutes on wet hair to see if I can get a better result and a better eye for how much I was plucking. And girl, I still was struggling. I don't know how much I plucked, but it ended up looking good anyway. Now I'm gonna take my Revlon, what is this, one step blow dryer? I'm not sure, but it's one of those, It's y'all know the blow dryer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try and blow dry those ends dry, girl. I was unsuccessful. So I had to grab the big girl. I had to grab the Dyson. So I pulled the Dyson out with the, I don't know what nozzle or attachment that was. And I just separated the hair to get under the hair underneath. And I used my Evolve 572 brush and I blow dried the hair until it was completely dry and fluffy and straight. And then I'm gonna take my Revlon One Step. I think that's called a One Step. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry the hair extra super duper straight. So I did that all the way through the first bottom half of the wig and as you can see, the color is coming out beautiful and the hair texture is super, duper soft. So next what I'm gonna do is get rid of these ends. Now the good thing about, well the thing about blonde hair is that you can't have no bad ends because girl, the world will know. So I took my rat tail comb and I tried to see where I needed to cut the hair. So I just trimmed off the ends on the very lower part of the hair. And then next I decided to layer the hair. Girl, I be acting like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know. I don't, girl, I don't know what I'm doing. I definitely should have cut this part of the hair first and then layered it because it was completely, it was longer than the last piece, as you can see. So I should have cut it first, then layered it, but I figured it out. 
<laughs> later, later, as you can see. But look how beautiful this hair is and how much movement it has. Now the front part was still wet. I haven't blow dried that part yet, but I decided I needed to cut off those dead ends first. And then I had an idea for it. I decided I wanted to like give very much Barbie layers. So I did the little twisty method thing. I sectioned the hair off in a triangle in the front. I think I did like three triangles, twisted it and then cut it if that makes sense you've seen me if you've watched my videos you've seen me do this before but i did it in like three sections to get the best layers because i feel like layers are gonna look great on this blonde hair so as you can see we did all three and next oh no i did an extra one who knew girl i was cutting away wasn't i <laughs> so i decided to do one more little itty bitty layer and next i tried to correct some of these stair steps because obviously when you cut the way i did it's gonna be like a stair step sort of layer so i did try and gradually cut into it so it looked a little bit more like gradual next we're just gonna go ahead and blow dry the front part of the hair and as you can see the movement is movementing okay girl the hair is bouncing around and it's looking gorgeous the next thing i want to do is just blow dry the hair backwards because that's always the first step for me to make sure my wig is giving very much scalp. So although the wig hair was dry, the wig cap was not. So I decided to use my blow dryer and my Amazon wig head. Here I am with the wig grip and the wig cap and we're ready to try on the wig. Mama looked good against my skin tone, baby. It looked good. So I'm using my Shea Moisture what's this mousse i'll leave it down below girl i can't remember it off the top of my head flyway mousse and i'm going to take my dyson blow dryer and y'all already know what time it is i'm just going to flat iron not flat iron but flatten this hair backwards with the fly away attachment now this you think the hot comb gets it super flat this dyson baby with this flyaway attachment gets it shiny and flat it's amazing you see how amazing the roots look it looks so good now next as you can see the lace is a little bit light this is transparent lace so i need some lace tint i'm using my calendaric lace tint i'm using a mix between the dark and the medium color and I'm just gonna blend it into the lace using a brush and I'm going to set the color with my Revlon blow dryer. Now I'm gonna tell you, tinting lace on a blonde wig is tricky because it is always gonna bleed through. I am, a, you know, I have some tone, my skin tone is not the same color as the blonde hair. So it does end up bleeding through and giving it root realness, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It was a little bit messy, but it ended up working out. So I'm just gonna take my hot comb. This is the Andes hot comb. And I'm just gonna flat iron the hair backwards once again. And I'm gonna get into that part and make sure it's flattened downwards. So we have like a nice, realistica looking part. Now, if you leave it hyped up, girl, you can do that if you want to, but it takes away from it looking realistic. So as you can see, I did flat iron it backwards but i did i do like this little extra little flip thing where i flip like i take the hot comb and i flip it backwards so that front edge part is flat you know what i'm saying like you see how that looks it looks like it's growing out of the scalp mama okay so next we need to go ahead and clip this hair back because y'all know what time it is we're gonna cut off this lace so i'm going to go ahead and use my annie shears use a zigzag method and cut off this lace the thing about mega look wigs all the wigs that i've tried for mega look Baby, you talk about, this is not, it, it's supposed to be 13 by four, but baby, it gives very much, you know, like 15 by four. Like girl, it's long, the lace is long. You see how far past it went past my ear? So if you have like a bigger head or a longer head than I do, you have a lot more room to work with, a lot more lace to work with, which can be a benefit for all head sizes. But it is a little bit much for my small head because girl my head is pea size so i have to cut off a lot of cat but anyways next we need to go ahead and apply the wig i'm going to use the even spray i got this idea from chanel um she was actually um in my last vlog she told me to use this stuff she was right 
Man was right, I love this stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply the wig. The thing about this cap being a little bit big is that it kind of wrinkles in certain areas. So I had to reinforce it. When I reinforced it, girl, I made the lace tint bleed and it gave very much water colors on my forehead. Girl, it looked like I took a, a like a washable marker and just colored on my forehead. It was a mess. So I shouldn't have done that. I should have just stuck it to my forehead, but it was what it was. We can correct it later. Next, we're gonna go ahead and melt down the lace. I'm gonna use my elastic band to melt down the lace and let that set for like maybe 20 minutes or so. And then we're gonna get into curling while we set that down. So maybe, girl, we did the hairline maybe for about 45 minutes to an hour. So next I'm gonna take my Chi Spin and Curl, baby. This thing is the best thing that ever happened to me. I've been using it for over a year and it's amazing. So I'm just gonna take the Chi Spin and Curl and I'm gonna curl away from the face. The Chi Spin and Curl has two buttons. So you take it, press the away from the face button and it'll curl your hair that way. It looks like Shirley Temple Cat curls now, but baby, when I spread these things out, girl, it looks good. So I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides, but before I do that, I need to make sure I separate out my bangs. And as you can see, girl, I told you I don't know how to cut. So I need to correct this cut that I did to these bangs. So I'm gonna do another twisty method sort of thing, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the excess hairs at the bottom. We're just gonna chop, chop, chop that hair off. And as you can see, we finally got a little bit more of an even cut. Is it even for real? No, but you won't be able to tell like that, like that once I curl it. So girl, I left well enough alone and tucked that away. I ain't gonna mess with a good thing or an okay thing. It'll end up working out in the end. So on the other side of the hair, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna curl away from the face all the way up to the top of the head. Now this whole process took, I would say about 30 to 40, no, actually, I think it took about 30 minutes to curl my whole entire head. And I'm gonna use the um, air spray Pantene air spray to set the curls. Now I had to reveal the hairline, baby, in this hairline, no ma'am. There's a way to fix it, but no ma'am, not right now. It wasn't, girl, the lace tint was bleeding and all that, but thank God for baby hairs because it makes the world, it makes the wig hairline so much better. So I'm gonna take some got to be glued invincible gel in the black container and a baby hair brush, and I'm just gonna work in some teeny, tiny little baby hairs. I like natural-esque sort of baby hairs or the baby hairs that you can't see. Baby, this blonde hair was basically trying to melt into my skin to where you could see it, but girl, it ended up being like a iridescent sort of baby hair. <laughs> baby was giving hologram baby hairs on the side of my head. You turn your head, there you see them. Turn your head away, no you can't. Now, next we're just gonna go ahead and trim those baby hairs down. And once those are done, we need to go ahead and blend this lace and fix the mistake that I made earlier. I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in the color Walnut Skin. It's like my bronzer color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try and conceal the lace that's been just all over my forehead. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job concealing. It's a little bit orange, but once I put on my makeup, it'll work out. So now I'm just uh, spreading out the curls letting these curls live their life and look how beautiful they are friend like look how gorgeous it gives like these beachy waves sort of look now next i'm gonna take my other i think that's a revlon uh curling brush i'll leave a link for it down below and i'm just gonna curl away from the face you flip it backwards and let me show you what happens friend i found the perfect tool boom that hair fell gorgeously period Okay, and I'm just gonna take my concealer and just um, make that part known. And that's it, mama. Look how gorgeous this hair is. I'll leave links for all the products that I used for this portion of the video down below. It looked stunning. I was so excited. I was stressed out, but baby, the way this hair ended up looking, it looked like it grew right out of the scalp if you ain't look too hard. So I'll leave all the links for this wig down below. Thank you again to Make a Look for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. I'll leave a coupon code down below as well. Check out the links before you walk out the door. Now let's go ahead and get into this face. We're gonna do a nice glowy skinish look to match 
with this wig. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, friend, let's go ahead and get started with the makeup, girl. for my life today oh my god not me spitting y'all know i like to do a cute little headband moment so i'm gonna throw on this satin headband that i got from the beauty supply store oh y'all i be feeling like every time i put on a headband these arms be looking real muscular and it gives um down under kangaroo let me just pull this back see look at them arms kangaroo it's a mess, girl. Today has been a mess. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But let's go ahead and get into the face. The face that I'm thinking about doing is natural, okay? Natural, easy, breezy, beautiful, you know, like light, because I feel like with blonde hair, and then I do like a full face of makeup, it's, it gives like just, girl, where are you going tonight? So I'm gonna do a look that I did in my last vlog, which is more like a, you know what I'm saying? It was like a really, really like fresh sort of look. Y'all already know. I start with the same product. I use this primer because I don't like touching my face. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh as a primer. So let's just spray that on. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now for the face, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, this is a go-to foundation. This is the Lip Bar Just a Tint, three in one tinted skin conditioner. If I just want like the skin look, but I wanna look finished, Oh baby, oh baby, this is it. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand. This is in the color Almond Joy and we're just gonna put this on the face. So girl, I'm, I was running, I'm running behind today. Girl, it is late. It is, what time is it? It is 11.02 at night. And I'm beating my face for what? Girl, where are my sponges? Oh, they're right here. Girl, this is the, that's the type of foolery I'm on today. I'm gonna use my Sonia Kashuk sponge just to blend this into my face. But yeah, girl. I just been struggling this week. Y'all know, I think it was last week, last week or so, I have been having some like stomach issues. So girl, I was all the way off. And because of those stomach issues, girl, I was just like off, but I still was like doing pretty good, like staying on schedule last week. I can't, I can't fill up the weekend with things to do. There needs to be one day for activities outside the house, one day for straightening up the home, and one day for like sleep and resting. So I only got one day like to be social. Cause the rest of these days, baby, I can't be hanging, hanging out with nobody. I can't do it. Like it really do mess up my week. Girl, I'm still behind because we decided <laughs> we had a few things to do this weekend. It was actually a fun weekend, but we had a uh, family come in town, which was amazing. And we had a wedding to go to, which was beautiful. It was a Nigerian American like fusion wedding, but it was, it was really, really nice. Loved it. Beautiful. Okay. But baby, after those three days, after those three days, girl, I have nothing left in my tank because I can't, I just don't have the social battery that I used to have. And I don't know if it's because we all have been locked inside for so long that going out is just like, girl, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it. Or it's just because I'm getting older or it's because I'm genuinely like crazy busy and I'm not managing my time right. I feel like it's a combination of all three. Let's go ahead and throw on some concealer. I'm going to do the concealer that I did last time. I think I'm remembering what I did. Okay. So the concealer I use is the uh, Lip Bar quick conceal caffeine concealer it's in the color caramel now this is a little bit too light but it does a great job of highlighting i'm just gonna put it right right there right where them little them little bags are do a little stripe down the nose and around the nose on the chin and i need to take a little bit of concealer concealer just to get around the mouth i think i do a little bit of mac around the mouth because around the mouth is really it'd be doing the mouth so i'm gonna use the mac in w45 just to do right there and we're gonna let that sit just to get them corners of the mouth y'all know i'll be running my mouth a lot and wore them corners out <laughs> that's not wrong friend girl that sounded wrong wrong 
This is all we're gonna do for the liquids, girl. And then we're just gonna do a little powder contour and a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna blend this all together. I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder contour and some blush, baby, and we be ready to go. Oh, that's right. Make it easy peasy them and squeeze. Oh, I gotta set this. But yeah, girl. So I know I need to get better with managing my time though, because I've really been just struggling. Like last week, I was like, I don't know what happened, but my time management was top notch. But then this week, girl, I don't know what I was. I, well, it's you know, what's that time? So I'm annoyed and aggravated, and I just can't. I'm getting. I just need to get my time management down, cause I I be wanting to like do other things, like. We were at the wedding. I was able to see my girls, my friends. Um, and it was nice to be able to hang out with them and chat and laugh. And we had been, y'all know how it is. When you get in your 30s, you be texting, you be in a group text with your girls like, oh girl, we about to hang out, can't wait, blah, 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 blah. And then we just don't because everybody is so busy. But once I saw them, I was like, Ugh. This is what I've been missing. Just like girl time. I definitely need to set my face. So I'm going to go ahead and use. I bought a big one. Because I don't know if y'all saw in my last kit ready with me. I was banging that little itty bitty container onto the table and everything. Trying to get every last little bit out. I said, girl, this is pathetic. Okay. Just buy the full size. So I got the full size Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know if I should have got honey. I don't know. I got the translucent. Translucent is good. So... That's what I have went with. So I'm just gonna take some of the translucent powder, dab it into my hand, and then set my under eyes. Dab it into my hand. I think I saw Aaliyah's face do that. She was saying the girls on TikTok be doing that. Girl, I don't be on TikTok. Like, I don't. TikTok don't really like me like that. <laughs> I don't know. Like getting on TikTok and creating on TikTok, I don't know if I'm the type of, I don't know. I be trying to, I got on TikTok, I had one viral video. And then after that, the TikTok girls was like, okay girl, you're done here. You got you, it was cute for the moment. And now you need to go, <laughs> bye bye. Girl, wow. It's giving very much white cast. I need to use a little bit of concealer, like the leftover concealer under here, so I can reverse contour or bronze or whatever you call it. Uh, I mean, my goals, I think that's one of my goals this year is to spend, it's been my goal every year, is to spend more time with family and friends because it does bring me so much joy. But I just have to figure out how to like manage my time. So, but the wedding this weekend was really, really nice. It was just nice to hang out, you know, and laugh and stuff with my girls and, you know, all that type of stuff. But one thing that that wedding did teach me was girl. I'm gonna use the lip bar contour palette. Girl, basically this is a lip bar face, fast face, hello. I'm gonna use the Minute Finish face palette, the Boss Moves palette, and I'm gonna use the same. I always use this uh, contour making bets. Just gonna do a little bit of contour right here. Oh wow, do I look a fool or what? <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Um, the bride had been planning for so long and girl, with my wedding, I didn't wanna do none of that. I'm not a wedding girl. I never was a fairy tale girl. I never really thought like, oh my God, one day I'm gonna get married and this is what my wedding gonna look like. I'm gonna wear this sort of dress, never. Wasn't that sort of girl. So when the wedding day came, I was like, people, when we got engaged back in, was it 2014, 2015, something like that. When we got engaged, was it 2015? When we got engaged, people were asking me about the wedding and I was like, girl, I don't know. <laughs> when are you getting married? When's your venue? Girl, I don't know. And don't care, frankly, I'm just trying to relax. But being there, I was like, wow, it just takes so much dedication and commitment, and I don't have it. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a whole lot. <gasps> Baby, when I tell you this face is facing, I already put brow gel on my brows. I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with my brows, really, because what's the point? <laughs> okay, now what's, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a blush. I'm gonna do the blush. Oh, the blush is called grinding. Oh, girl, I've been using. <laughs> I've been saying the blush was something different, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna use this blush grinding. They have the stickers on backwards, so. I don't know what I'm looking at. I love this blush because it has like a little sheen to it. So it's a blush and highlight. I love that they do that with their blushes. That translucent powder be doing its thing. Put that on the nose, cheeks. For the eyes, I mean, I could do something. I guess. Let's see, for my eyelids, I guess I could do I mean, can I do this blush? I wonder what happens. It's like a, I wonder if it'll look right. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Give me like a little blushy eyelid. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna take, I wonder if I can just do it like, I don't know if that pink's gonna show up. Let's see if the paint's gonna show up. I'm gonna take the tip of my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Not me drooling. I'm trying not to <laughs> poke myself in the eye. Now for the eyebrows, let's see. For the eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I always use this. Um, for my brows and then this is in the color espresso I've already put like brow tint on my brows so I'm just gonna just go through and define them just a little bit like bring them forward a little bit do a little lower line here darken up the ends that look good enough I know that's right dang it I was supposed to put powder on my brows y'all know how I've been doing I've been doing powder on my brows and it really just makes them look more finished and less like oily, so. Hopefully I can spray that down. <laughs> Whatever, girl, I don't. I can't be fighting this late at night with my eyebrows. I'm not doing that. Who is singing, baby? Somebody is singing. I think it's the TV, cause it's somebody that can actually sing. I have a neighbor, that girl, every Sunday, she gets to belting out sharp and flat notes. Honey cannot sing at all. It look crazy right now, but y'all y'all just wait. Y'all just wait. <laughs> Once we spray this down, I hope these eyebrows <laughs> set and forget, because it look a fool right now, it really do. I need to do my lower lash line. Girl, this face is taking like three seconds. I'm gonna do the Smashbox Superfan Mascara. What is going on? Oh, this is pretty. I need to hurry up and get up off here because girl, whatever, I guess we all watch an American Idol in this apartment complex because the girl's TVs is loud. Okay, I think I left my lip liner in my little bag. Girl, I've been toting, toting around this Kate Spade bag. It's so cute. Been toting around this Kate Spade bag. Oh, let me use the wet ones. Okay. Okay, so I have this lip pencil from NYX. Y'all know I love the Rebel Kind lip pencil and I also love the Iman lip pencil. So I'm gonna line my lips with the Rebel Kind lip pencil. Ooh, a sharpened lip pencil? Yes. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Why my lips so dark? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna use the lip bar lip pencil, I mean lip color in the color chocolate spritzer. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, it's a little dork. Let me see if I can fix it with a little bit of peach stock from MAC. Right there in the center. And, ooh. 
y'all this is cute this was unintentionally cute okay let me spray this face down so i can set it real quick hold on hold on hold on hold on i know i have to recurl these bangs so let me get my little curler this little curler is everything it's like a little like a little brush curler perfect for the bangs at the top so i'm gonna let that heat up for a second she do be melting her little her little legs <laughs> she be melting them a little bit but that's okay let me pop this off i throw on some amazon earrings y'all know how i do amazon earrings my nine east <laughs> watch girl you don't even fit i got it for like 30 bucks from the amazon <laughs> so okay so i need to just recurl these bangs because I don't know what I was doing when I curled it the first time, but it's definitely not giving what I wanted it to give, or what, giving what I wanted to get. What, what's the phrase, child? With this curler, hmm, I like to take it, it's better for me to like, I don't need to pull my wig off. That's not the bend. Well. It's a little bit of the bend I was looking for. I guess that I have to do. Girl, where am I going? Nowhere. I feel like it needs a little bit of a gloss or something. It's giving real gray over here. Yeah, I use this. This is a lip plumper though. My lips about to be on fire. But I think the hot pink is gonna add like a little bit of color to my lips. Mm-hmm. That did what it was supposed to do. And this is it, girl. This is the finished look. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my lips are about to explode. <laughs> Somebody give me a fire extinguisher. Oh my God. This can't be good for your lips. Why do we do this? What's in here? Cayenne pepper? Oh my God. We put ghost peppers in that lip gloss? Like why? Why they do that? Why they do that? Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. It's calming down. This is the finished look on the face. As I go through the day, it settles and it's not as gray. Like as I work through the day, like my skin settles and it starts to look like glowy and as it gets, you know what I'm saying? Like so, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the finished look with the hair. Very pretty, fresh, blonde. I don't know if I like the cool, colors are coming off on the wig but ah, i'm in love with the look girl i was tussling i was fighting for my life over here with this wig but yes i love how it turned out blonde wigs with um no root realness take a lot of work i say thank you again to make a look hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring the beginning portion of this video thank y'all so much for watching i'll leave links for the wig and all the makeup products that i used down below i love you all thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and this wig if y'all have tried blonde wigs before like with no roots just like blonde blonde please let me know down below and y'all tell me what you think and tell me your tips and tricks for blonde wigs for you know for the girls anyways i love you all thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video wait Bye. I need to go to bed. <laughs>